In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve a spring mass system. Um, this, this system is described by the differential equation m, the mass of the object, times d squared x dt squared, plus kx, where k is our spring constant, is equal to zero. And x is the displacement of the mass away from equilibrium, and t is time. Now, for this problem, I chose initial conditions x sub zero is two, and the velocity of our mass is, is also zero at the initial condition. I should probably say at t is equal to zero, at velocity is zero. Um, so that's our, our, our equation. So, and to solve this, it's a second order equation. Um, we're actually going to reduce it down to a system of two first order equations that we can solve. So it, it highlights how we, how we can solve the higher order equations and how we can help solve system equations in one example. So the first problem is to reduce the problem to, to, for, to two first order equations. So Reduce second order ODE into two first order ODEs. And for this problem, that's pretty easy. Because we know we can rewrite this equation as d squared x dt squared is equal to minus k over m times x. So I just rewrote the differential equation. I haven't done anything else. Um, and so that's still our second order differential equation. So this is second order. And to write that as two first order equations, we can recognize that the change in position with respect to time is just the velocity, v. Um, so I've introduced a new variable, v, and we know that dv dt is the acceleration, which is the same as d squared x dt squared. And that's just using our definitions of position and velocity um, from physics class. And I know that this is minus k over mx. So if I look at what I just did here, I have dx dt is equal to v, and I have dv dt is equal to minus k over mx. But this is two first order differential equations that describe this system. So I've reduced the problem to what we need. So this is two first order ODEs. And they're coupled, they're coupled through x and v. So it's a system of equations. I should also write it's a system of two ODEs. But we know how to solve a system of equations, so we can do that. So for example, we could use uh, the Euler update. And with Euler's method, we can say xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus some step times h times the right-hand side of the x equation, which is just v, the i v, and maybe we have the y update. Let's see, maybe I have space here. Let's scoot that up. And let's see, our y update, so our v i plus 1, is equal to vi plus h times the right-hand side of that equation, which is minus k over m times xi. Now, those are the updates for the, the um, dependent variables. We also have the update for the independent variable. So, for example, we still have the update equation for time, which is our independent variable for this equation. So we have t i plus 1 is equal to ti plus h. So those three equations, the equation for t, x, and v, where this is the independent variable, and x and v are the dependent variables. And I'm stressing that because usually, well, a lot of the examples, x is our, deep, is our independent variable, and y is our, independent, is our dependent variable, sorry, that's what we do. Usually we saw solve equations that have dy dx is equal to something. Here we have 
dx dt is equal to 2v. So x is these kind of switch spots. That's what I'm stressing it. But that's how we can reduce a second order equation into two first order equations. Um, in the next video, I can, I'll be going to show how we can implement those equations in MATLAB.